IGCSE Computer Science Syllabus Statement 1.3.4a Describe the principles of operation of inkjet printers and describe how they are applied to real-life scenarios. So, finally moved on to output devices, but this really isn't going to be any different from what we did in input devices, except these devices output, and uh, that's it. Um, so, yeah, it's the same format. Um, each video equals one output device, um, and that's it. So, an inkjet printer is a printer in which the characters or images are formed by minute jets of ink. This is the definition I got from the dictionary. Um, one inkjet printer would look like this. Um, mine doesn't look too different from this, actually, but uh, yeah. So we'll just be looking at how it works and um, how they are applied to real-life scenarios, just like we did with um, the input devices. So the components of an inkjet printer include a print head consisting of nozzles which spray ink droplets on paper to form characters or images, ink cartridges, um, usually two, one black, one blue, uh, well, one black and one blue, yellow, and magenta. Um, but they can also come in other forms, such as one cartridge with all four colors, or um, sometimes cartridges with uh, six colors. Um, a stepper motor and belt which moves the print head across the paper, and a paper feed, which feeds the printer with paper. So, using all these terms, we can uh, now go on to see how the inkjet printer actually works. So, um, there are two technologies of the inkjet printer. There's thermal bubble. Um, in thermal bubble, tiny resistors create heat, making the ink vaporize. The ink forms a tiny bubble, which expands, causing some of the ink to land on the paper from the print head. The bubble collapses, and a small vacuum is created, allowing new ink to be drawn into the print head. And this continues until the print job is complete. And then there's um, piezoelectric. I, I, I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. Piezoelectric. Anyway, um, a crystal is located at the back of the ink supply for each nozzle and it's given a tiny electric charge uh, which causes it to vibrate. The vibration causes ink to land on the paper from the print head and um, while this is happening more ink is um, drawn in for the next print. Um, so whatever technology um, is chosen, it's, I think it's usually thermal bubble, um, it's it, like it, both technologies follow this basic algorithm when printing. So, first step is data from the file to be printed is sent to a printer driver. Um, this can be from a computer. The printer driver um, checks that the data is in an understandable format. The printer driver checks if the printer is able to carry out the print job. So, what this basically means is it checks if the printer is, if it, it like checks the printer, um, if it's busy or if there's a paper jam, or if there's no ink, or some other error, it'll send a message back. So the data is sent to the printer if there are no problems, and um, the data is stored in a printer buffer. Now, we'll learn about buffers soon, but um, just know that a buffer is sort of a temporary memory location. Next, a piece of paper is fed into the printer. If an error occurs, a message is, of course, sent to the computer. Um, now, an mess like, error message could be, oh, out of paper, um, or something like that. Um, anyway, the printer head moves across the paper to produce the characters or images. At the end of each pass of the print head, printer head, print it doesn't matter what you use, honestly. Um, I just did this to, uh, well, I mean, actually, I didn't, I didn't really do it for a purpose. I just, uh, anyway. Um, so the paper is advanced slightly to print the next line. The process from step 5 is repeated until the printer buffer is empty. And finally, the printer buffer sends an interrupt to the computer. And an interrupt, is just for now, just uh, think of it as a signal, because that's pretty much what it is, but we'll learn more about it soon. So an interrupt is sent to the computer, requesting more data to be sent. 
that's pretty much the algorithm of uh, an inkjet printer when it's um, doing a job. So this is what an inkjet printer looks like on the inside. And um, as you can see from this image, it's most probably thermal bubble, because um, you can see the uh, bubble, the growing, expanding bubble. Um, so you can see the um, ink cartridges here, the um, stepper motor, the print head, um, the paper, and uh, the belt. That's pretty much how it works. So the use of inkjet printer, well, inkjet printers are best for printing good quality one-off photos. So like, when we learn about laser printers, we can start to distinguish between inkjet and laser. So basically, um, yeah, it's good for good quality one-off photos. So like um, only a few pages um, as opposed to large print jobs, which laser printers are best at carrying out. And this is because um, the ink cartridges are quite small um, in inkjet printers. And so are the paper trays, um, paper, paper trays, paper tray, paper trays. So um, there's less likely to be issues. Um, well, and not that there, there will be, there would be no issue. Well, I mean, you know, there could be issues, but um, yeah. So just, it's basically good for um, like one-off photos, what like really small files, really small print jobs rather.